Good morning, children. Let us learn AVS Lesson Seven: Balanced Diet. What is balanced diet? The diet that contains all the essential nutrients in the right amount is called a balanced diet. In this lesson, we are going to learn about essential nutrients, deficiency diseases. digestion malnutrition good food hygiene and food preservation let us learn first about malnutrition hungry and diseased persons are closely related a person who does not get enough food to eat suffers from malnutrition there are large number of people in the world who are malnourished because they don't get enough money to buy food and not able to eat enough to meet their nutritional diet many children at the age of 1 to 5 look pale and sick because they are suffering with malnutrition they are not getting enough food nourishment from their food our diet must contain essential nutrients such as proteins carbohydrates fats vitamins and minerals we should not cook food more because it destroys the nutrients in the food store food properly if not it may get spoiled when we eat such food it may cause diseases in this condition our body does not function properly and because of unhealthy symptoms body results in deficiency disease so children it is necessary that we eat a diet that contains all the essential nutrients refuges is also a very important part of our diet these contains vegetables and fruits it helps in excretion here is a table that tells us about the essential nutrients the sources and how they help us this is which are caused due to the lack of one or more nutrients are called deficiency diseases these diseases are non communicable diseases and are not transferred from a sick person to a healthy person a child suffering from malnutrition may have disease like marasmus and washorper a child suffering from marasmus has a stunted growth and a weak body the skin is dry and wrinkled and stomach disorder also occur washorper is a disease caused by the deficiency of carbohydrates and proteins in the diet of children child suffering from this disease has low appetite swollen belly and reduced growth next night blindness night blindness means a person is not able to see in the dim light due to the lack of vitamin a their eyes become weak prevent this disease diet rich in leafy vegetables carrots papaya mango and milk should be taken very 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 cause due to the deficiency of vitamin b in the diet it affect to the nervous system to prevent this disease a diet rich in vitamin b like unpolished rice whole grains milk tomatoes and peas should be taken scurvy scurvy caused 
due to the deficiency of vitamin C in the diet. In scurvy, there is swelling on the gums and pain in the joints. Bleeding gums is a symptom of scurvy. To prevent this disease, foods rich in vitamin C like oranges, grapes, lemon, gooseberry, amla and tomato should be taken. Rickets. Rickets is caused by the deficiency of vitamin D in our body. A person suffering from rickets have become ball-shaped legs. To prevent the disease should take a rich in milk, cheese and eggs. Goitre. Goitre is caused by the deficiency of iodine. The person may suffer in swelling in the neck. To prevent this disease, should take iodized salt and eat a lot of seafood. Anemia. Anemia is caused due to the deficiency of iron in the body. Hemoglobin contains of the blood is reduced. Such condition the person may get tired easily. To avoid such condition, the person should take iron food like apple, carrot, spinach, egg yolk, meat and other green leafy vegetables. Let us learn the process of digestion of food. Digestion begins in the mouth with the help of teeth and tongue. The process of breaking down of food into simpler form is called digestion. We take in food through the mouth. The teeth help us to break down the food into a small pieces. Tongue helps in rolling the food in the mouth. Saliva is a kind of liquid present in the mouth. It makes the food moist and soft. It changes the starch present in the food to sugar. Glucose is the simplest form of sugar that can be observed by the body to produce energy. Next, food hygiene and health. It is very important to maintain cleanliness and to keep food safe and hygiene. The utensils in which the food is prepared and stored should be clean. Always wash your hands with soap before eating the food. Always keep the food covered. Cook the food properly to kill the germs. Let us know how to preserve food. What is food preservation? Food preservation is the process in which food is stored in two ways. Dry storage, cold storage. The food is preserved in different ways. For example, by keeping food in the refrigeration, drying, vacuum packing, boiling, salting, canning or bottling, pickling and fermenting food. Refrigeration. The most common way to preserve food in low temperature because the germs cannot grow. We can preserve fruits vegetables, milk, meat, etc. for several days in the refrigerator. Drying. Drying is one of the most ancient method of food preservation. Food items are dried in the sun or in oven to remove the moisture from the food. For example, grapes are dried to give rison. Third one, vacuum packing. In this process, the food is preserved 
in egg time or packets before packing the egg is removed with the help of vacuum packing it preserves food for long time for example liquids chips nuts and meat etc boiling milk can be preserved by boiling boiling kills germs present in the milk salting salting is also one of the oldest method to preserve food in this process moisture is removed by adding salt to items such as meat fish etc canning and pickling in both the process in both the process food is stored in a a tight container the food gets spoiled when they come in contact with moisture for example biscuits flour pickles etc fermentation food the process of fermentation preserve food and make more nutritious for example curd is fermented by milk idli and dosa are fermented by the batter of rice and urad dal such as fruits are oil free and healthier next we we'll go for the questions what is malnutrition what are the reason for this a person who does not get enough food to eat suffer from malnutrition the reason for malnutrition are poverty and excessive cooking second question what is a balanced diet what are the nutrients required for our body a diet that contains all the essential nutrients in the right amount is called a balanced diet the nutrients required for our body are proteins carbohydrates fats vitamins minerals and refreshments third question what is a deficiency disease name any three diseases and their causes diseases which are caused due to the deficiency of one or more nutrients are called deficiency disease the disease are night blindness caused due to lack of vitamin a in the diet beriberi caused due to the deficiency of vitamin b in the diet scurvy caused due to the deficiency of vitamin c in the diet fourth question why should food be preserved what are the method of food preservation food preservation is the process that involves storing of perishable food materials for a long time so that they remain fresh and can be used later different ways of food preservation are refrigeration drying vacuum packing boiling salting canning or bottling pickling fermenting food fifth question write short note on food preservation by salting pickling food preservation by salting salting is one of the oldest form of preserving raw foods the process by which moisture is removed by adding salt is called salting it is also called carving food preservation by pickling involves the preservation of food stuff like mango lemon chili and meat in edible oils with salt spices and acid next section second section choose and write the correct options first one 
night blindness is caused to the deficiency of vitamin A. Second one, milk is preserved by boiling. Third one, fats, carbohydrates gives us energy. Fourth one, fruits are stored by refrigeration. Third section, fill in the blanks. Goitry is caused due to the deficiency of iodine. Second, saliva is a kind of liquid present in the mouth. Third one, anemia is caused due to deficiency of iron in our diet. Fourth one, in rickets, the legs become bow-shaped. Fifth one, a diet which contains all the essential nutrients in the right amount is called a balanced diet. Next, four section, mass the following. Walsh yogurt, carbohydrates, night blindness, vitamin A, scarvy, vitamin C, rickets, vitamin D, anemia, iron.